Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland. This is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. This is going to be both a sleep session and a relaxation session. There'll be two versions, one without music and one longer version with music, which will be about two hours long and the music is by Kevin MacLeod. And the description, your know, details will be there in the description box of the podcast. If you like what I do, please leave a PayPal gift by going to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland or go to my website. The link's on there and you can help to cover the costs of running this free service that has no adverts. So I hope you're well and I'd like to ask you first of all to get yourself into a comfortable position ideally lying down on a bed and if you're just listening for relaxation and you know you've got things to do in an hour's time or something then I suggest you set your alarm to wake you up because whether it's the content of the recording or maybe even my boring voice you may find yourself drifting and that's perfectly normal I mean I personally when I listen to recordings it doesn't matter what it is if I lay down and listen I fall asleep every single time and I've been doing this since I was a child I used to lay down and listen to I remember listening <laughs> I had an album uh, Madness Greatest Hits uh, Buddy Holly The Monkeys there's a few albums that I I know it makes me sound really old but um, this was the 80s I just loved The Monkeys and I loved the Buddy Holly as well. So I used to lay down. I'd always fall asleep. Always. And the same's been, it's the same as now. Even if I'm listening to a lecture on psychology or, you know, a university lecture, or if I'm listening to an audiobook, I just always fall asleep. So I think there's that connection between laying down on a bed and your body and your mind knowing that it's time to fall asleep I don't know why necessarily but I guess I guess it makes sense in a way because we spend you think about how many years laying down on a bed at the end of the day and drifting off to sleep and sleeping is the most natural thing pretty much in the world to us we are born with the ability to sleep easily and naturally effortlessly in other words to end with E I mean basically it's one of those things that we haven't needed to be taught and if I was ever going to try and teach somebody like an adult how to sleep it would be almost a case of 
unlearning those behaviours and thought patterns that have been learnt during our life and getting rid of those and then getting back in touch with how we were when we were babies and when we were first born with that natural ability to sleep and we could do hardly anything else we were reliant for pretty much everything except sleeping it's just been one of those things that we've always been able to do it's just natural so you know because babies don't have insomnia generally small children don't I mean it's going to be uh, if something traumatic happens it may well affect you know, somebody's sleep regardless of what age they are you know and that's fairly normal and that is not insomnia that's a reaction to what's happened so you know I had a friend a few weeks ago he witnessed uh, something really really terrible on his way to the shops uh, and he it disrupted his sleep quite badly and in a way I would say that's almost to be expected it means that you're human if we're affected by something awful happening it means we're human it's really that simple it's natural to be affected by that stuff you know to be a witness to something that's horrible and I'm not going to go into details of what happened it was it was horrible it was uh, something that no one should have to see and it affected his sleep and you may say well why didn't I help him get to sleep yeah considering that's what I do it's a little bit difficult you know if you really if you're close friends with someone uh, he doesn't really respect me as a hypnotist he doesn't see me like that and he wouldn't he possibly wouldn't benefit from listening because he, he possibly wouldn't have the the attitude that's needed to benefit from what I'm doing but he may benefit from someone else doing the same thing so there you go it's one of those things although I do know some people in real life that have listened to me and it's helped them which surprised me a bit because of how we perceive others and how I would be perceived because my friends and family I'm not a hypnotist I'm just <laughs> that annoying Jason probably So when you get in touch, the whole idea really of this session is the idea of getting in touch with that natural ability to fall asleep. And in order to fall asleep, you know the journey from being awake to being asleep includes a very important part which is relaxing deeply and I imagine the only time really that someone that's hugely tense and stressed could instantly fall asleep even when they were feeling tensed and stressed was because that's how they naturally are it's a possibility that not the tense and stress bit but they might naturally be able to fall asleep in an instant and I know people I've met people like that I've met people that can sleep with their eyes open you know 
I've met people that can instantly just put their head down and sleep or people that can sleep in the middle of a busy busy room um my dad's a bit like that actually at Christmas or like you know a birthday or something when there's lots of people around he can sit once he sits in his chair he falls asleep doesn't matter how loud the telly is how many conversations are going on he falls asleep and he's always been able to do that but he's very relaxed in that situation anyway but feeling relaxed generally is a really important part of the journey for most people so in a way it's hard to distinguish between doing a relaxation session and a sleep session sometimes because every sleep session is also a relaxation session but not every relaxation session is sleeping you know it's sometimes I mean I, I want if I want to do a relaxation session for myself whether it's self-hypnosis whether it's listening to somebody else or maybe it's just listening to some music sometimes I just want to lie down for 20 minutes or sit in a chair for 20 minutes and then feel refreshed when the recording's over or when the time over feel completely refreshed and ready to get on with the rest of the day you know but with more energy and more positivity flowing through your body uh, so they're different in that sense but relaxation is f extremely important when it comes to falling asleep or going to sleep and I think one of the weirdest things probably about sleeping is it's, it's almost like an unknown thing that we do thousands of times in our lifetime but it's like an unknown thing I mean, I'm trying to think how many times have I been asleep I'm 50 years old now don't tell anyone I'm, thir I'm 36 years old now so I'm 50 years old 365 days a year so 10 years 3650 100 years would be 36,000 over 36,000 for 100 years it's half that it's 36 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 times more more than 18,000 times I have fallen asleep so I don't know I don't know what your age is or how many times you've fallen asleep but it's going to be in the thousands if you're an adult so when you think about that the fact that you have done something that many times and it's not something that we can even necessarily say how we do it other than you lie down on your bed and you close your eyes getting yourself comfortable that's another thing that's important that everyone does when they're in bed you, you know you rearrange your body don't you um, what else that's the thing isn't it what is the the process of falling asleep what's the actual process that you go through every night of your life or every day of your life if you work night shifts or if you're up during the night 
so it's almost like we have an amnesia of the process we're kind of aware of it when it's happening and then suddenly we we don't know anymore and then we wake up and to be able to pinpoint the exact time that you fall asleep is probably quite difficult to really remember how easily you did fall asleep and when precisely you went from being mildly mildly awake and your mind's drifting and you kind of you may already start to dream and then sort of come out of it and be aware of where you are and it can be a bit funny in a way because I'll do that and I'll be I'll dreaming I'll be dreaming and I'll I'll sort of come awake again I think oh that's annoying I wanted to be asleep without realising that I actually was asleep because when you've got your eyes closed and you're dreaming and you're no longer aware of pretty much anything that's going on in the room that you're in and you're not really aware of your body anymore or any of that stuff then you're asleep regardless of how long it lasts you're asleep so when you think about it we fall asleep more than once at night you may fall asleep four, five, six, ten times and maybe each time that your mind drifts away and you dream and you may come back and be aware again and it's only a matter of if seconds really before you start to drift again and you may go back into the same dream as you had before or you may start imagining something else and each time you do this it lasts a little bit longer you become more relaxed and there's although you still got that connection it's almost like you've got a, a rope that you're holding on to in order to you know get you back to where you were but eventually makes you let go of the rope because you realize that waking up doesn't take any effort it happens naturally or you set your alarm and you know whatever uh, method you use waking up is easy it's as easy as falling asleep it's exactly the same process but reversed that same process when you go from waking up and you may not actually be aware of where you are or what day it is or what time it is or whether or not it's a work day or a school day or you know just that fuzziness that's there and then 
you become more and more aware and the fogginess wears off and you realize where you are and you realize what day it is and you know you look at the clock and you're like okay and you you get up I say clock I don't know how many people have clocks anymore but you may look at your look at your phone and I'm just going to move myself this chair is very squeaky today I don't know why so the process is reversed but it's that same it's like the same space that you're travelling through that space from being asleep to being awake is the same so being from being awake you feel really really relaxed things become feel a bit fuzzy and you drift off and you maybe dream about something and you might wake up temporarily and then you close your eyes again and you seem to drift off quicker this time and you start to dream again and this time the dreaming lasts longer and then you may wake up again for a very short time because not just consciously but you know unconsciously your brain knows your body knows that you feel so relaxed and calm when you are asleep your body and your mind wants more of that feeling of deep freedom and relaxation and that sleepiness becomes stronger becomes closer almost like that you know that fogginess or that mist as it becomes part of you and it feels so nice and gentle to really really allow yourself to relax so so deeply more you relax the sleepier you become the more relaxed the sleepier you become and you really enjoy knowing that you are in charge of how you feel and you can enjoy those sensations of letting go so it 
letting go. And this, this real sense of familiarity or like coming home there's you know, something special safe familiar with this feeling the feeling of drifting the feeling of relaxing so deeply and your muscles and your body don't just feel completely peaceful they also it's as if all the muscles in your body actually physically also drift off to sleep drift off to sleep and imagine if every part of your body snored it'd be so noisy because every part of your body is now drifting off to sleep so peaceful and relaxed so peaceful so relaxed as your mind drifts even more deeply drifts even more deeply the point where there's nothing left to say there's nothing left to do there's nothing left to listen to your entire being all of your energy is now resting so
Body. Mm-hmm. 